Welcome back to another NBA video, and the trade deadline is approaching quicker and quicker as at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday afternoon, it will be the official 2020 NBA trade deadline buzzer. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is give you guys a full preview so you guys know what's going on, whether it's which players or which teams seem to be the most active or are going to be the most active in the next four days. So let me know what you guys think. I have a few players, I have a few teams to go over, and let's just get into it starting things off i have derrick rose point guard of the detroit pistons he's putting up some career numbers this year looking back to his mvp form maybe not as explosive but he is a very good scorer there's lots of teams that will surely be interested but the pistons they're asking for some high level first round picks so if you're a team like the lakers are you willing to give that up to get a player like derrick rose that's going to be one of the questions and then along with that the lakers of course kyle kuzma they're looking to find a trade partner with him to bring in some veteran experience whether that's someone like Bogdan Bogdanovich or Robert Covington that's going to be another option to look at and then Andre Iguodala if you're looking for veteran experience he's one of the best three and D guys that you could get he has not played a single game for the Memphis Grizzlies yet this year but they're trying not to buy him out and they want to find a trade partner so maybe a team will offer a first round pick or we'll see what they can get for Andre Iguodala but they'll get some trade value as they hold the eight seed right now and teams like the Lakers and Clippers will be interested for another wing defender that can provide you some offense and now it's the Houston Rockets and this one's a bit interesting it's Clint Capella he has been dealing with some injuries this year but they're reportedly looking to shop him right now and I don't know what you guys think but I think the Rockets work well with Capella especially in their pick and roll game he's a seven foot shot blocking center i don't know exactly what they'd want for him but the reports are they'd want another wing player and then just a new center whether that's a center that can shoot we'll see what it might be and then robert covington i've already mentioned him there's a lot of belief that he will for sure be traded before thursday's deadline buzzer so we'll see what they find for a robert covington trade it could be a team like the lakers or clippers that want a three and d player or it could be a trade with the warriors to get d'angelo russell because d'angelo Angelo Russell leading me into the next player. There's been a lot of reports this morning that the New York Knicks are interested, but the Minnesota Timberwolves are extremely high on him and would do a lot to be able to get D'Angelo Russell. With Carl Anthony Towns, they've reportedly dangled Andrew Wiggins in the trade. The Robert Covington would be a big piece in any D'Angelo Russell trade as well, one would think. And then, now, talking about some teams, the LA Lakers and the LA Clippers, it's been reported that both of them will almost certainly make a trade. The Lakers for a new score and the Clippers for a new wing defender or someone that can shoot the three ball. We'll see who that might be. It could be someone like Covington who I've mentioned already. It could be something like Andre Iguodala. And then the last two players on this list. First, we got Drew Holiday of the New Orleans Pelicans. There's teams like the Nuggets and the Heat that are interested. The price is reportedly very high. As it should be, Drew Holiday is playing very well this season for the Pelicans. It's a young Pelicans team and they might want to keep his veteran experience around, especially if they think they have a shot at the eight seed. And then the last player on this list, Andre Drummond. We know there's been talks for a few weeks now about Andre Drummond. We'll see if there's a team like the Celtics or the Mavericks looking to replace Dwight Powell's hole. We'll see who is interested in them, but let me know what you guys think. Which teams will be the most active and which players will be traded at this year's 2020 NBA trade deadline? Let me know your feedback in the comment section.